What up, though? I guess Smashing Pumpkins don't even like this song. Fucking kidding me, dude? The mic came off the stand again. It's like once a month this shit fucking happens. I had to switch mics. I sound different. This this one sounds different. Let me see that one. That one sound. But what, it, can you tell? Can you tell? Absolutely. Shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. Hey, fucker. Right? And then this one sounds weird. Barely. Barely. Don't you make me start the show with the weird mic. Man, I'll just, I just hold this bitch. We'll fix it. What was I saying? Yeah, the Smashing Pumpkins. They didn't even like this song. If you got the if you got the book Hyena, and the story where I pass out from doing too many nitrous butt naked on the floor covered in the olive oil, that was a hyena. Yeah, because I couldn't find lotion, so I just jerked off of olive oil. Cause I'm Italian, and that's the weather we do, Master Choli. This is a song that I woke up to. We're gonna play a game called Bet on Judy. We're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna mix it up today. We're going to mix it up today. I'm going to hit you with old fucking okie doke. Hit you with the razzle dazzle. We're going to actually do Feel Good Friday this hour. We're going to do Bet on Judy following hour. Then after that, we're going to fucking do uh, the news with John. John, the chin face, Matthews. And that's what's going to happen. Went to the doctor today for my stomach. Motherfucker just told me to eat antacids. I was like, no, I didn't think of that. Thanks. Thanks, Doc. Shout out to the fucking American medical system. I'm gonna go see a gastro and tut. One of those GI guys in 20 days. That was the quickest they could get me in. That's what I did this morning. That's what I did this morning. Anybody need any peps at AC? I bought like five boxes of that shit. And the worst part, it doesn't even, like, it doesn't even, it doesn't even, doesn't even work. Aw, oh, thanks, Billy Corrigan. Thanks, buddy. We're gonna stay in the 90s. My doctor is also, they do, uh, they do nose jobs in there too. So it was just me and it looked like a, it was me and it looked like a bunch of battered wives. Like all these, all these chicks with broken noses and fucking patches on their face. And Glendale is all Armenian. Shout out to the Kardashians for making, uh, helping ethnic girls hate their face. I love people are telling me medically what I should do. People are calling up with medical advice. I need a fucking doctor that will see me. To, yeah, on Monday. How's that? That's what I need. It's cool. Whatever. I lost 20 pounds in a couple months. It's a good diet. Whatever the fuck's going on with me. Whatever's going on with me, it's a good diet. I lose a couple more pounds, I'm going to start looking like a dope fiend, though. Rob. Rob, what up, man? Hey, man. What's up, man? I heard you talking about your stomach and shit. I... I recently had some really bad stomach problems, man. I ended up getting uh, diagnosed with Crohn's disease. What do they do for that? Is that like just forever? What do you do with that? It is pretty much forever, man. You just have to change up your diet completely. I mean, Damn. there's just so many things that you can't do that, you know, it's an everyday thing for me. I'm in, I'm in Houston. I love eating crawfish, spicy foods and all that, man. I just, I can't do shit anymore. What is it like? Just like oatmeal and shit like that? Rice and yeah, uh, bland ass yeah, chicken. a lot of that. You know what? What I was gonna say is aloe. Uh, that's that's proven to be a real good anti-inflammatory. And they got these Mexican drinks and shit. They're like got aloe, uh, you know, pulp in them and shit like that. And that got, works real good. I got some aloe shit at the crib. It's for your it's for your face, but man, I'll be I'll just drink it. <laughs> I don't know about that shit. Might I'll not read the label. I don't got no whatever, dude. I'll try <laughs> fucking anything right now. Y'all don't even know. I, I just, you, man. I don't even want to fuck on. no more. I've been turning down girls. I don't want to do shit. Like this is fucking sucks. No, I feel you, man. I'm a bloody ass. All that kind of shit. Everything. It's it's been a it's been bad, man. But don't 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 keep taking them man asses and shit. That shit ain't no good for you. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't even know. Like, it, it didn't make a difference. So, like, I'm not gonna. Nah, it don't do shit, man. Nah, yeah, he was just keep like. Natural, but... Yeah, and I, yeah. There you go. Just keep it natural. That's right. All right, All man. right Judy. Yeah, keep your head up. Yeah. Sorry about yo. Sorry about the fucking forever disease, dude. That sucks. Can you do the hey, poop man. transplant shit? You know where they fucking do the poop smoothies of like someone's good fucking poop, and then they uh, put it inside of you, and then it fucking fixes right. things. There's there's no way I'm gonna do that. I will just bet. I'll just better my diet. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm not putting nobody's poop up in me, man. I don't know, bro. Like, if it, if it was like you can never eat fucking, like, all the food that you like, or you just sh- fucking, they knock you out and just throw some poop up you, I'll take the fucking poop. 
Yeah, it doesn't help that I'm an alcoholic and got anxiety and all other shit either. So, you know, it all goes together, man. Just got to fucking cope. Yeah, you're right. No, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure my life, my life decisions have. This didn't, this didn't come out of nowhere. We'll we'll just put we'll we'll just say that that this didn't come out of nowhere. That's what you get though. You reap what you sow. Nah, I don't even, I don't even know what the fuck this is. Now I want to find out. Not that bad. Mad Michigan. Yo, what up? Hey, you need to get between 50 and 100 billion CFUs of probiotics. You need to drink that aloe vera because that shit's good for your stomach. Get some papaya enzyme and tell your doctor to fuck off. I got the pro- I, I'm doing the probiotics. I don't know if I'm doing yeah. enough, but so I'm doing the pro- probiotics and the papaya enzyme. I'm going to go see if I can many- drink that motherfucking... Yeah, you can buy aloe juice at the store and just drink that shit, and then make sure when well, you buy the your lotion. probiotic. Let's see if I can drink the lotion. I'll yeah. just drink that shit. Fuck it. It'll be like it'll yeah, be extra yeah, strength. Leave some on your lips. You'll be partying. It'll be good to go. But yeah, make sure you get a high amount of bacteria for your probiotics, and then make sure that shit is stabilized uh, until the expire date, or else you're going to get some bullshit ass probiotics that aren't going to do anything. Yeah, my shit's got the fuck. Yeah, you got to keep it in the fridge and that type of shit. Yeah, you don't need that. You keep it in the fridge because that bacteria is dying inside of there. So you need to get some good shit where you don't have to fucking do all this yada yada shit to keep the bacteria alive. Okay. God damn it. All right, thanks. Hey, April had the poop transplant. I got to talk to her. April. I did. Hey, dude. You had the poop transplant. I did. So I got really sick in 2013. I almost died. I have ulcerative colitis, which I heard the other guy say he had Crohn's. So it's kind of the same thing. And my husband gave me his poop and it basically saved my life. How did they do it? Did like They did it through. So he goes to the bathroom and then they take it in. The doctor examines it and then they put it like you're getting a colonoscopy, which I've had plenty of anyway. And they stick the shit right up there and it, you have to hold it in for a little bit, which is hard as shit. Yeah, because it's not your yeah, shit and it wants it's to escape. It's not my shit. Yeah, it it's like, is. It's like, what am I doing in here? The shit's probably <laughs> just as scared as you are. I know, right? But I was all, I mean, I was real sick. I was like hours away from dying. So how long did it take before all that shit started reversing? Um, I could feel it within a day. No shit. And I, yeah, you, you within sound, a day I started no. feeling, I knew, yeah, I knew that like I was going to feel better. And within a day or two, damn if I didn't feel better. There you go. See, my, uh, my homeboy's wife got the same poop transplant. She felt fucking awesome after that too. So like. You're not the first person yeah. to tell me about I it. I know. It sucks. I'm sorry to hear you're having all these problems. I know what you're going through. That shit sucks. Yeah, man. It's fucking annoying as hell. I'm like... I know. I know. I don't even want to fuck. Don't you understand? That's not like me. Like, that's the only well, thing that well, brings me meaning. Yeah, I. But, yeah, but my husband and I, when I was really sick, we went like a year and a half with no sex. Oh, yeah. Because that's the last yeah. thing you want to do. Like, I barely yeah, like jerking off. I'm like, do, uh... But we- so he still married me I'm and then, sad so. nuts. Oh, yo, this is before you guys got married? This is before we got married. Damn. So we've been dating like two, like two and a half years. Damn, you got to keep her. Y- y'all two yeah. stay strong he's together. A good, he's a good man. We've been together now. It'll be eight years in September, and we've been married for a year and a half. My, that's fucking awesome. Well, that is awesome. Yeah. All right. All right, dude. Good luck to you. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's going to... Uh, no problem. Yo, you know. I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna be good. Yeah. Um, yes, you are. Yep. Yeah. That's or I'm not one of the two. <laughs> I was just like, "Yo, bro, just stick the fucking tube down my throat and tell me what the fuck's wrong." He's like, "I can't do that." Jude, if you need a poop transplant, I'm not going to you, bro. <laughs> Whose poop are you going to use? I'll use a stranger's poop. I don't want to have to keep looking. I don't want to look at, I don't want to have to like look at a motherfucker all the damn time after the fucking poop. Now this guy's saying aloe juice fucked him up. All right, now I got to get the fucking other side of the story. Sam, aloe juice fucked you up? Yes, sir, man. You know, they said, uh, get them home remedies. So I started talking to one of Mexican homies, went to the swap meet where they got all the leaves and shit. And uh, gave me the aloe juice. Next, you know, my shit looked like tree bark. 
It fucked me up. So the worst is you, your poop just look like tree bark? That's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, I, I thought I had problems, you know, because I was eating McDonald's and shit, and I get high and, you know, max out. Man. And I was nah, like, man. I, nah. You, you went to the swap meet, and then your poop looked like tree bark? Like, no. I'm going to go drink my lotion. I bought a bunch of that aloe off of Amazon when I was high one night. Because, you know, that's what happens. Shout out to drugs. It's keeping Amazon in business. Oh, fuck, it's buy dumb shit when they're high. Uh, Yeah, so I'm going to go see. I'm going to see if I can drink that shit. If not, I'll just go to the health food store and get some. All right, everybody, it's got a fucking story. And, yo, I'm not the only one, guys. There's a bunch of people who went through... Uh, has been through a lot. Keep your heads up, guys. Don't you fucking keep your heads up. And thanks for calling in t- uh, to give me a little pat on the head. I appreciate it. All right, let's play some music. Come back with Feel Good Friday. Wow! I feel good. Maybe feel good. Maybe feel good. Shea 45, often this show can be thought of as negative. John has sold a soul on here, and I'm always shit-talking. But for one hour, usually-ish, 35, 40 minutes. It's been getting cut shorter. Um, But for like an hour or so on Fridays, we stop talking shit and start talking positive. Call up right now. Let me know what you're feeling good about. What are you happy about? What are you looking forward to? 888-742-3345 888-742-3345 What am I feeling good about? I'm gonna fucking go home Lay my ass down Fucking Take a bunch of sleeping pills And knock out for fucking two days Can't wait Bitch can't fucking wait It's a little things My mom's probably listening like Oh my god I hate that she listens Um but I'm actually looking forward to that. So yeah, fuck yeah, man. Go fucking lay down. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. What are you feeling good about? Chris is gonna go to some German town in uh, what's it called? Solvang. He's going to Solvang. Get some sausages, whatever the fuck the Germans eat. Sauerkraut. Bunch of like big cups of beer. They got everything there. Get you the sauerkraut, the potato pancakes and shit, and they pound the fuck out the meat and fry it. They got good chocolate too. Yeah, they do. Yeah, I'm Germans. They got a lot of that shit. Chocolate and fucking sports cars. They're good at that. Fucking Beamers. I think that's German. Benzos. German. I'm not even going to crack a Nazi joke. There, there, <laughs> there's like 20 there. I don't, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you Germans breathe. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. I was going to ask John what he's doing, but he's got the fucking sitting there with the fucking phone resting on his chin. It's talking to you guys, screening those calls. All right, please. I wanted to hear that. There's a couple old school hip hop songs that I've just been wanting to hear, so we're gonna play them in in the in this little feel good Friday mix. Here's something from Common. This is back when he was Common Sense. That's how fucking old this shit is. Sold by the pound. I think you might have to push this one up a little bit louder. I think that it's low. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. What are you feeling good for? Feel Good Friday, 888-742-3345. What are you feeling good for? You call up right now. You let me know. Let's holler at some folks. We got J-Rod out there in Texas. What's up, J-Rod? J-Rod. What up, Jude? You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, you hear me? Yeah, what's happening, man? What are you feeling good for? Hey, I just got accepted to uh, a trial ketamine treatment that the military is doing to treat uh, PTSD and depression. So I'm pretty stoked. Fucking A, man. That's cool. That's, uh, so what do they do? They give you like small doses of it and then they give you therapy at the same time. Is that how it goes? No. Nah, so actually like they, they bring you in and they give you, uh, what they would consider a pretty high dose. Okay. My buddy did it and he said that he just like shook the fuck out. He don't re- like remember the first time. And I, I guess he, he kind of wowed out and they had to like strap him down, but he, 
he had never done drugs or nothing right. like before the military. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So hopefully this will help with right. the, with your PTSD. Yeah, bro. Hopefully. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. I'm stoked. Y'all have a great Friday. Fuck yeah! And uh, thanks for serving and keep your head up, dog. No matter what. Right. My I'm, pleasure. All right, man. My man. Peace. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Let's go to Josh in West Virginia. Josh. What's going on? What up, though? What are you feeling good for? We feeling good about life, bro. We doing whatever the fuck we want out here in Morgantown, West Virginia, baby. Okay, what do you want to do? We want to do whatever you're trying to do, man. Come out here and have a show, some shit. We we love you out here. Book signing. Book signing in West Virginia. Yeah, Morgantown. We'll throw right. it down for you, bro. Man, based on this phone call, I don't know. What? Says you. It said on the, in the call screen. It says that you're gonna have dirty, dirty sex tonight. And then you get on the phone. and You're just like, I'm happy to be alive. Dude, we going to Bugsy Social Club. Okay. Tonight at nine. You got to hit us up. The boys from the lot are gonna be here. We got every car on the lot turned to shade forty five. You believe that? My man, appreciate you. All right. That was uh, West Virginia checking in. Let's go to Brent, Oklahoma. Brent. Hey, what's up, Duke? Chilling. Hey, man. Uh, went in this morning, man. Got five cavities filled and two wisdom teeth pulled. And uh, But luckily, he loaded me up with some drugs, man. My brother, he met you out at uh, um, Oregon, man. He got a couple of books signed. I haven't read your books yet, man. But they got in yesterday, so I'm going to try to get into those this weekend, man. Oh, that was a nice c- couple painkillers and uh, hummingbird. Sounds good to me, brother. Not bad. Not bad. Hell yeah, man. Hey, J- hey, I want to say what's up to John, man. Hope you have a good weekend, brother. He can't hear you. This is the one time like he's no one ever says anything nice and he doesn't this is he does he's he didn't even hear you. I take that shit back then, man. Uh, <laughs> damn. Right, man. Hey, you have a good weekend, brother. Yep. He can only hear it when people shit on him. <laughs> That's the only time he reacts, right? So I was like, Hey John, have a good one. Look at him, he's over there oblivious. Jordan in Atlanta, what are you feeling good for? Yo, dude, what the fuck is good, man? Shit, Appreciate chilling. you guys taking the call. No doubt. What are you feeling good about? Oh, man, I just got done with grinding out my first week at my uh, new new promotion at my job. Just fucking huge step up from what I was doing, man. What do you and, do? Uh, about to go home and uh, drink some beer, smoke some weed, and fuck my fiance. Good, good on you. What do you do for uh, What do you do for a job? I work for a pest control company. I was a pest control technician. I just uh, applied for a position for a service manager that I was a little underqualified for, and they fucking gave me the position yeah. and uh, making way more money, fucking grinding shit out, bro. My man, you got to ask. Listen to you got to you got to be assertive. Jordan was assertive. You went out there and asked. Yep, no and doubt. You, and you got it. There's some saying like there's some some saying that you know the answer is already no. You know what I mean? So you might as well ask because. Without asking, the answer is no anyway. He went out there, knocked on that fucking door, he went and got it. Michelle. Hey, this is Michelle. I just left a second interview at a job, and I'm hoping I get this job. I've been trying to get it for about three weeks now, so I'm just really excited, hoping I get it. What's the job for? What what do you want to do? It's a teacher. Nice. Teaching what grade? It's high school. All right. High school at a Catholic school. Okay. That's and would it be like what subject? Social studies and English. Right, that's awesome. Well shit, man. I'm I got my fingers crossed for you. Hopefully you get that shit. Well thank you. Yeah. Have you ever had that uh the rum called Kraken? It's the name of it's really Kraken. I saw it's it's got like the octopus on that bitch. Is that the one? Yeah, yeah. I seen it but I never I never drank it as I don't drink. You about to go drink that and get it cracking? Yeah, I'm about, I'm on my way to pick some up right now. All right, you fucking <laughs> have fun with that. Fucking All right. Cuba Libre. Thanks, man. Ciao, ciao. All right, eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Here's a little fucking, I'm staying on my little hip-hop zone. OC, time's up. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Call up right now. What you feeling good for? What are you happy about? Feel good Friday. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. 888 Hi, Vic. What up, man? Yo, long time no talk, Rube. It's been a minute. How you doing? What you feeling good for? Man, I'm feeling good because, uh, to be honest, I'm selling a shitload of 4K projectors, man. These Sony's and JVC's, people just love them, man. What are the 4K projectors? Is that like the... 
What is that? 4K is like the best resolution you could get. So there's not too much. Like right now, if you're watching the Masters and you have like a the new DirecTV box, yeah. you can watch, watch it 4K. But otherwise, my suggestion is get like an Oppo 203 with some AudioQuest cables and then you can buy 4K movies at Best Buy all day long. I don't, man. I was just talking about this yesterday, man. Some of that shit be looking too good. Like I can see the cracks in people's faces now, man. Like I can, I can see my favorite people aging. Like I don't, like all my favorite announcers look old as fuck. Like is it? That's that's what it looks like. Well, you definitely don't want to watch porno, man, because it, it, it might be a little bit too much information up there. But yeah, you're right. No, that's you. You're right. You got the right idea, man. So looking good is a good thing. So yeah, like what what is that that's just best for like sci-fi movies or some shit like that or nature it, uh, like nature shows? If uh, if you get if you go to Best Buy, you go online like blu-ray.com. Damn, I'm looking them shit is 2500. Nah, the the 4K projectors. Yeah. They the good ones start off about 5 grand to like 15 plus. Damn. Damn, you can't and, go uh, and, and I've been selling a lot of these JVCs and Sony for like 8 grand and people Rah. just I mean, it's the shit, dude, because you could go from, like, a 90-inch screen to, like, a 150-inch screen. That just depends on how big your room is. And you just shoot it off the wall? That's how it goes? Uh, nah, I, I, unless you got a dark room. But otherwise, my suggestion is get, like, a nice uh, uh, ambient, absorbent light screen and just, you know, have a good screen. Yeah. Good cables kind of helps a lot. Right. But, uh, what about, like, a bed sheet? I've I done it before. I just hang a bed sheet up up on that bitch. <laughs> if your room is dark, man, you could do it, man. You could get hey, one more thing, uh yeah. I've got my project turntable as well, man, so I'm kinda excited about that too. They, they, yeah, you're fucking stoked. You're fucking killing I'm stoked. it. I'm happy, man. High high five Vic, man. My man. <laughs> Look for him. Support support our own. Vin in uh Fort Worth. Oh, what's up, bro? What up though, man? What you feeling good for? Man, I just did a fat shot of heroin and cocaine, man. Feeling good. What they call them? Speed balls? Yes, sir. Just did a speed ball. Yeah, you, man. You saw Been me. on the shit for about 10 years now. God damn. Yeah. Just keep going, huh? Yes, sir. Tried the methadone and rehab and everything, man. Just in love with that needle, though. You like the needle? Yeah, man. What do you man, think it is? Do you like the ritual of it, or are you just like the... like? I, the damn it, the ritual itself and just that high you get, you know, There's nothing like it. I can't but, imagine. I imagine it's, I imagine it's awesome. That's why I never would even try. Like there's, there's no upside of trying heroin. Cause then you, I, I'm, I'm talking to you 10 years later, fucking fucked. How much yeah. you spend on that shit? Man, daily, about 80 to 90 bucks. <laughs> That's a lot of money, yeah. bro. God damn. That's yeah. an expensive habit. It is. Yeah. So. Well, shit. It, I don't want to fuck up your buzz. Um, congrats on <laughs> congrats on scoring. Yeah, and, man. Uh, so I feel good right now. That's why I'm calling, man. You got you still got some veins left? No, man. I, I, I got to inject it just in my ass, man. I got to just muscle it. Oh, you do the butt. You, there's a there's a there's a word for that. Uh, you, there's a fucking pin what's it called? Pin popping. He's pin popping that shit. Yeah. yeah. I had a junkie homeboy that would like look at people's veins all jealous and shit. Like, man, look at those veins. I used to, but it ain't even worth it no more. Yeah, just throw it up your asshole. Yes, sir. Why the fuck not? Yeah. <laughs> So what do you do? You you take you you do a little dope. You take a little coke. You do a little fucking heroin. You put some water in it, and then you put in one of the little the thermometer, the baby injector, the baby medicine injectors. No man, uh, when I cook up the the tar first, and then after that, I just throw the white on top of it, and then I still use a a needle, and I don't actually put it in the butthole. I put it like in the skin. I I still use the needle. Oh. I just. Oh. I stick it in my ass and just <laughs> not in my asshole, but you know I skin pop it huh. on my ass cheek. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Whoa. All right, That's that was wilder than I thought. That one. <laughs> I thought you just shot in your butt like like an enema, but that's you still like the needle. All right. Well, fuck. I'll, look. Hey. Been able to keep it together for ten years doing that shit. Wow. 
Gary in Phoenix. Dude, man, hey, I talked my girl into getting a fucking abortion, bro, and she's fucking doing that shit next week. Six hundred and twenty fucking dollars, but I'll tell you what, man, that's the best six hundred and twenty fucking dollars I spent this fucking year. I swear to God. Yeah. Feeling good as fuck, bro. Do you not want to be with her, or you just don't want to have a kid right now? No, nah, we don't need to be having no fucking babies right now. That bitch is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that means, man. No more. You got. You can't go raw on her, man. Like, no more going oh, raw. I got- yeah, I got it. I got it. We gotta be doing a lot of anal too. But yeah, that bitch, she's going to take care of that shit next week, bro. Long time listener, motherfucker. Keep that shit up, bro. Have a good day. Congrats on your abortion, my man. Uh, yo, Joe in the Bay. What up, man? Hey, what up, Joe? How you doing, bro? Fucking good. What are you feeling good about? Uh, feeling good, bro, because I'm finally becoming a U.S. citizen. Nice. Where are you, where, where are you coming from? I was born in Mexico, but I've raised here since I was two years old. So, it's, so you you it's been you, thirty you, years in the making. So, so you went through all the fucking, hopped through all the hoops. You got to take all the tests and all that shit, and you fucking you're getting it. Yes, sir. My man, congratulations. What are you gonna do to celebrate? Thanks, brother. Thanks, brother. Uh, I got off early today. I'm gonna go hit up one of my boys out in San Jose and go get a couple beers. My man, cracking tonight. My man. Well, fucking congrats on congrats on getting legit. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. I love the show. All right, man. Peace. Thomas in Virginia. Thomas. Yo, dude. What up, dog? man. I'm hey. cooling. Awesome. 63 years old, man, and I've been listening to your, your show for a long time, and I, I'm, I'm loving it. Uh, unlike that other dude, I've been clean now for 30 years. Damn. And I'm, 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 I'm happy because I'm going to go hang out with my daughter and my, my granddaughter. I hope I haven't seen them in a long time. That's I live in I live in I live in Virginia, but I'm going to New York. I'm on I'm on uh, I'm on ninety five right now. I, I hear you. That, that bitch oh, told man. on you. That motherfucking computer, that computer just snitched. Yo, man, I really like your show, man. From I'm fifty three, and I love your show, man. I, I and John, I I like that boy. He done got tougher since the last time. He's hardened the fuck up. Yeah, for about since the last what seven months. Yeah, he got he's gotten a little tougher. Congratulations. Yeah, checking him out. Yo, and I appreciate your show, man. Keep doing what you do and uh I'm gonna look for that book. You have that book in, in, in Barnes and Nobles? Yeah, man. You might have to order it. They be hating on my ass. They hate on my the bro. kid. Yo, hey. you do what you do, my man. All right. I love your show. Have fun with the have fun with your family, man. See you I am. next time. Peace. All right, man, let's uh do a little I hope. Let me see. Let me make sure this is the right one. Hold on one second. Yeah. Feel good Friday. Call me up. Let me know what you're feeling good about. Hey, today, 742-3345. Call up right now. Let me know what you're feeling good about. What are you grateful for? Talk to me. Hey, today, 742-3345. Melanie and Little Rock. Melanie, what are you feeling good about? Hey, dude. Cool. I got through. Man, I'm just, I'm fucking feeling good and grateful all at the same time. Um, I'm fucking putting my name out there, and I got some good career moves. I got people offering me thousands of dollars to come work for them and shit, but I don't know. It's pretty fucking comfy where I'm at, and, you know, I do the whole drug thing like I'm a big dork, but I fucking do drugs and shit, and then I got, you know, I got this fucking doctor fucking with me, and I normally just don't put myself out there, but... He's, like, turning me on, and he's into me, and I'm like, well, I might as well fucking go for it. I'm not doing anything else. It's fucking Little Rock, Arkansas. There ain't shit to do here, but fucking drugs and fucking suck. I mean, but... So you might as well fuck that. a fucking doctor. Yeah. I mean, you got a doctor that's in you. What kind of doctor? What does he practice? He's a chiropractor. Oh, that's and, not really um, a doctor. So I got... Well, I, guess in, I, I guess in Arkansas that counts as a doctor. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a, he's went to med school, but, I mean, he's a doctor. I'm just fucking but, with you. Is it a doctor or chiropractor's PhDs? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe, yeah. like I said, maybe in Little Rock. Yeah, well. He's, he's a Little Rock when you live with When you live with pain, it's kind of important that you can get a house call. Like, yes, please. straight up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can crack I'm your back for you. That somebody gives a fuck enough at least to give back to me when I'm doing shit for fucking people, you know. And Yeah, so, totally. So what what but, drugs are you into? Well, I was on oxycodone real bad, um, yeah, real, real bad, 
was over the past few years, and uh, it got to be about a hundred and fifty dollar habit a day. God damn! And then yeah, and then you saw yeah. so you good I've been now. Pulling some ga- I've been pulling some fucking gangster moves, dude, to make this fucking shit happen. Like yeah, like tell me like, about it. Crazy. I mean. And then, I mean, I've been on, like, I've been on methamphetamine for about 13 years. Right after I got out of college, I started doing that shit. Wait, you went to college and then got on meth? Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I've been at the same job ever since. And I've gotten, since I was to work there, he's given me, like, $20,000 in raises. Like, I keep fucking ass. Like, I function on a high level. Well, I'm sure you're getting a lot of stuff done. You're on fucking meth. (laughs) Right. I'm sure you're detail-oriented. (laughs) <laughs> Nothing's yeah. getting oh, by yeah. your fucking methed out ass. <laughs> fucking a. Well, yo, congrats on the doctor. On here. Congrats on the doctor. Congrats on the job and keeping it together. And uh, there you go. Uh, fucking ladies. Eight 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 seven four two three three four five. Um, Mark in Colorado, go ahead. Hey, what up? It's Mark. Go ahead, man. Hey, I'm feeling good for my my girlfriend Hannah. She's been sober for a year. She's been going through the opiate crisis that they got going right now. But yeah, that's a motherfucker, bro. So, uh, con- yeah. Congrats. So I'm proud of her. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Uh, yeah. Good on you for Give sticking with her through through the tough times. Uh, yeah, tough, real tough. All right, let's Especially go. that guy was talking earlier about that shit about butt rockets and shit. That shit's funny as <laughs> That's some funny shit right there. That was wild. I know. I was right like, on. Yeah, he's probably still listening. Fucking high as shit. <laughs> Let's go to Todd in South Carolina. Todd. Yo, what up? Uh, chilling, man. What are you feeling good for? Man, I'm feeling good. It's Friday. I'm off work. Got a pocket full of Percocets. I ain't got to work tomorrow. Shit. Get living life, brother. Enjoy those, man. Rashid, what up, though? What up, what up, what up? Yo, this is Rashid right here in Atlanta, man. Hey, I feel good because I just bought a motherfucking house. You heard me? Hell so, yeah. Uh, yeah, man. That's what's up, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to my fiance and my stepdaughter, man. Um, they down there cleaning that bitch up right now as I'm at work. You feel me? That's cool, dog. Congratulations on, uh, is this your first house or? Yeah, it's actually, it's actually my second. You know what I mean? Okay. I did one one time with my ex-wife. Look but at uh, you. But I'm now trying, trying to turn over a new leaf, man, with my new life. You feel me? Yeah, starting all over, starting over, brand new, got the new crib. Sounds like you and, yeah, you and your, you and your, your fiance and, and new little stepdaughter, y'all fun and yeah, man. crush that shit. Yeah, man. Man, that's what's up. One more shout out to my son. He at Morehouse College, man. He's doing his thing with the with the whole modeling and shit. So shout out to my kids, man, and my babies. I'm feeling real good right now on this Friday, man. That's I right. really appreciate you answering the phone, man. You got it, man. Thanks for fucking you're like the first call we had that hasn't been on heroin in a, in a minute. So <laughs> are you on heroin? I mean, you you might, you might still be for all I know. You're just not claiming. Nah, 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 nah. Hey, bro, right. I might I might puff a little bit. You know, real trees. Yeah. That's about it. That's about the extent of my shit, man. Look, I'm not judging these guys. I'm just saying it was just it was nice to talk yeah. to somebody that wasn't like <laughs> fucking all the way going through it. Abel in Texas. Hey, what's good, Jude? Thanks. I appreciate y'all, man. I love the show. I'm a truck driver. I'm on the road all the time, man, and y'all keep me going. Um, I'm thankful. I'm happy to take Friday number one for two day. And most importantly, I'm headed home to see my wife and my kids. So how long I'm you been how long day. how long you been away? Three weeks, though. Woo, Three buddy. Weeks. Yeah, so I'm happy to go home, man, and, and spend time with my family and you know, uh man, I work hard, so might as well go home, spend it on my family and have a good time, man. My man, enjoy that shit. Enjoy yeah, that man, I shit. I appreciate it, man. I Please. appreciate it. Dave in Chicago. Hey, hey. How's it going, Jude? Great. How are you I'm doing? I'm another guy that's not on heroin. There you go. Shout out. Hey, no, no, not knocking anybody like, that likes opiates. I was just saying. We had like four in a row. Yeah, I know. I heard so, that. It's nay on the fucking uh, rehab shit, guys. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a horrible thing. Yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm on my way home from uh, North Carolina with my family. We went out for uh, spring break, driving through West Virginia right now. Feeling good. Spent a nice week on the beach. Can't complain. Sounds great, man. Just kicking it with I your love kid. It. Let's go to Ryan in Cleveland. Ryan, what you feeling good for? My man, dude. Hey, to kick the opiates. Seven and a half is <laughs> clean. All right? Eight Xanax bars a day, 240 milligrams of Rocky Codone a day for two years straight without fail. Somehow didn't die and half a pint of lean. Every God damn. Day. High-functioning addict. Got clean. Turned my life around. Now I'm doing cancer diagnostic research like crazy, man. My like, man. 
completely turned 180. What do you do with your liver? Must be fucking just. Oh, dude, you. I who fucking knows? That thing's probably looking like fucking Trump's fucking face. (laughs) You know what I mean? (laughs) It's all fucked up. It's looking rough, but uh, look, it, looking you got off. Rough. You got off that yeah, shit. So man. congrats, Seven and man. Seven months clean. Thank you, thank you. Big up, and hey, hyena, fucking love it. Tell John. Johnny loves it. Excellent. Johnny loves my hey, book. I'll help you out with your shoe collection. Do don't, it. Don't get him any more shoes. You know, you guys, you guys think you're helping. You're only fucking. You're enabling hey, this if fuck. Anybody does need help? Who's listening? Getting the, uh, you know, getting clean. I'm. I'll help. I'm opening up Silver Livings. Oh, you're like, opening up Silver. Goal. That's your shit. All right. Yeah, dog. Like I know what it, what it's like to go through that shit. Eh? It ain't no joke getting off them opiates or fucking Xanax bars. Eight Xanax bars a day. Like that's a lot. Like, you can have fucking seizures. You know what I mean? Yeah. I was gonna say that's a lot, bro. That's a lot. Yeah. And I'm 24, and now I'm in, I'm in medical sales. I turned around my life like 180 in in a in, in six months. So crazy. That's dope. All right. Yeah. Man. Peace. Thanks, man. Let's go to Rihanna, or is it Raina? Raina. Yes. Raina. Yes. Raina, I'm here. Go ahead. I am so, I'm feeling so good because Monday I'm having a, an emergency hysterectomy. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. All right. So what, you wasn't feeling good down there, so they got to they gotta cut you? Is that how it goes? Well, no. Well, I had fibroids really bad, yeah. so I was in a lot of pain and bleeding and stuff, Ugh. so it's going to be all over on Monday. Congrats on, the, yeah, and then they can come in you and everything. Hell yeah. <laughs> this goes out to you after your vagina heals. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It'll come all in you. Yes. Fill right. you up. No kids, no nothing. <laughs> Congrats on that, and uh, and you you heal up safe, okay? Okay, thank you so much. All right. Uh, let's, Joel. Joel. Yes. What up, though? What's up? Hey, I feel good Friday, man. I'm just getting back from another tour deployment from Syria. Oh, man. I got my two, I got my two little ones. I'm taking one to karate and the other one to gymnastics, man. Thanks for serving. That's a shit show over there, huh? It's fucking... Oh, man. Yeesh. Yeah. Well... It's it's crazy. I'm I'm, I'm sure you're grateful to be with your family right now, so congrats on that, man. Yes, yes. Hey, thank you for for all the uh, content you put out, man. I appreciate it. Love you. Follow your photos, and and thanks a lot for what you guys do over there. Thank you. No doubt, man. Keep your head up, and uh, shout out to all the service, uh, everybody in the service. Thank you for y'all's service. I don't even agree with everything, but I appreciate y'all motherfuckers like a motherfucker. Motherfucker. <laughs> Adam in Pennsylvania. Adam. You. What up, I'm man? What you get feel? that uh, song ran back, man, because my wife's pregnant with the second baby. Yeah. I be nothing in these bitches. Yeah. 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 What's that? And I got you to play it when I for my first child too. So there you, you know, go. Just, just keeping r- routine. You keep coming in your wife, and I'll keep. I guarantee it. Yes, sir. All right, man. Have fun All and right, congrats, man. Dave. Yo. What up, though? Hey, man. I'm just uh, thankful. Uh, gonna have myself a threesome this weekend. All right. Look at you. Uh, you know what? I uh, I got to hand it to you though. It uh, started with the Sex at Dawn book. You had uh, what's his name on there? I don't I can't remember his, the author's name. Chris Ryan, my man, Chris Ryan, Sex uh, that, Sex at Dawn. Yeah, yeah, man. That was like uh, we were already headed down that road, but that just like solidified it. Yeah, so, it was, uh, it's all about how uh, how how being monogamous isn't natural to us absolutely. as humans. Yeah. I mean, like, I think we all kind of feel that anyway, but it's like there's some science behind it. It's nice when you got, like, a college motherfucker saying it with words. You know what I mean? You'd be like, look, right here, fucking read it and weep. I know, and I've, I've probably told ten people to read that book. Yeah. Plus, I've read your all your books and all that shit, too, so it's like, I don't know where I get my check for all this promotion, but... Well, thanks. I appreciate it. You know, keep man. spreading the word. And yeah. <laughs> hopefully, uh, you can use my book to help your girl want to do um ketamine i don't i don't know I, yeah <laughs> I don't fucking know. no i'm too old for that stuff 
I hear you, man. Yeah, stay off that shit if if you're not on it yet. Um, and have fun on your threesome. Oh yeah, yeah. Then we're headed to uh, Swinger Resort there next week as well. So Damn, we're all in. you guys are fucking jump in and fucking two just two ten toes all the way in. Exactly, man. You just got to have honest conversation with your woman, and then that's what happens. Come on, her. Just make sure you come on her. Come on them. You mean? Nah, her. Your wife just. Make sure when you're first doing this shit, just make sure she gets most of the attention. Oh, she, she gets it. Okay, yeah, you see what I'm saying? You don't want to fuck okay, it. Don't no, ru- don't ruin this for yourself. All right. Don't be in that. Don't be in the new girl's pussy. Like, oh, this is the best shit ever. Like, <laughs> unless so your wife's into that type like, of shit. Like, I'm enjoying it, but it's not like it's not the best pussy I've ever had. Obviously. Like, yeah, you know? like you like it, but your wife's is really good. Yeah, like I can't wait to get back into your pussy. Yeah, I'll after I fuck her for 10 minutes. And then, yeah. and then I'll be over there. All right. I, I, I give it to you. I'm fucking, them threesomes are hard, man. I don't know how they, I don't know how people do it. I don't know where to fucking look. I really don't. I don't know where to look. All right, uh, here's a little Beastie Boys Q-tip. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hey today, seven, four, two, three, three, four, five. What are you feeling good about? Call me up. Let me know. Alan in Seattle. What up, Alan? What's happening, man? Man, I just want to say I'm so happy today because I got paid, and today's my last payment on my wife's five carat diamond ring for our five year and wedding anniversary, and I'm excited to make it happen. God damn. Well, congratulations on five carats. That's a big ass ring, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. She helped me down, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. When I was in college, she was paying all my bills and stuff like that, helping me out with my apartment. And then once I got my degree, I'm a geomatic engineer. You know what I'm saying? I make over 80000 a year. So I told her I was going to put her on immediately. So, man, I can't wait, man. I'm like super excited. I can't wait for our 10-year anniversary. Man, it's going to be that much bigger and better. That's awesome, man. Congrats. I'm, I'm glad you got a good Thanks, one. Man. Me too, man. Thanks, man. Happy Friday. Happy weekend, man. All right, man. My man. Let's go to John in Michigan. What up, man? I'm feeling good because my baby girl had a few health complications when she was born, but she's made a full recovery now and is doing fucking great. Awesome. That's great. That is great. Nothing nothing makes you feel more powerless than watching your kid be sick and you can't do shit. Holy so. shit, man. You don't even know. She was fucking less than a week old and had to have a fucking spinal tap. Jesus they tapped Christ. her with the they tapped her with the needle ten times. She's we're good now. Able to dra- she's, all right, she's good now. Okay. Able to draw okay. nothing. All right, she's good. Good. It's fucking awesome, man. Congrats. All right, man. Enjoy the weekend. Appreciate you, you taking the call. All right, Mike in Canada. What's up, bro? Mike. Hello. Mike. Hey, how's it going? Good. What are you feeling good about? I feel good that I'm just. About, I found out that I'm having my second child. I was told I was uh, never supposed to have kids, and I've got my second one on its way. That's what's up. Hell yeah. The, the, why I'm did they say bad. you couldn't have kids? What did they say was wrong with you? Well, I got into a motorcycle accident oh. about six years ago. Okay. And I smashed my nuts on my gas tank and oh. popped whatever. So, you know, they told me I was never never going to have kids, and I found up, uh, today I found out when I was going to have my second one, and what's even better is uh, the due date's on my birthday. Nice, bro. Killer in Boston. Hey, Jude. What up, though? Hyena Hummingbird on my Bibles, just to let you know that. Thank you, man. You there? Yeah, I'm Yeah, listening. man, you're the... You're, the best man i tell you um i hit you up on instagram once but i had to take it down i didn't want to get That's you right. know yeah. put myself in trouble but you're the best and i'm telling you you saved my life brother well thanks bro that's good to, you're, good to know i appreciate yeah, I mean, your that. books are, your books if there's anyone out there listening pick up those two books and learn something from this guy you know he's got knowledge that you need to you need to hear you know what i mean well, i'm glad you took something from it for real killer thank you bro shout out to boston still working on getting out there uh, damn. Okay, we got two more. Sean and Tequila. Those are the two. Tequila. Yes. What are you feeling good about? I'm feeling good about my manager booking a whole bunch of pole fitness competitions and uh, workshops and performance. I got a major performance in Orlando at the International Pole Convention, nice. and I'm super stoked about that. Congrats on that. And then you just teach people how to pole dance and shit like that? 
Yeah, pole dance and then the fitness side of it. So I teach basically sexy side, fitness, all aspects of, of pole dancing. What's your favorite? To, uh, it, to do that one little I'm spin. I'm <laughs> Huh? To, to do that one little spin with your like, leg locked where you do it looks like the you're doing a number four with your leg and you're spinning around. That one. Uh, how do you know that one? Because <laughs> I saw that shit before. I've been to strip clubs. I'm like, that's impressive. <laughs> No, I like to do the strength moves. I like to do like the flag and the iron X and stuff like that. Oh, you! Oh, you're like buff. No, I'm not buff. If you're doing I'm the tall. flag, that's you a bad motherfucker. You doing the flag? Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty strong. Like I'm. I'm. I'm like soft muscle, so I'm there thick with it. But you know what they say, skinny thick. You know, I'm one of those. Oh, you skinny thick. <laughs> All right, there you go, Tequila. Yeah. Congrats on that. All right, Sean in Puerto <laughs> Rico. You. you the last one, Sean. Yo, what's good? You a wild boy, man. Yeah. Hey, 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 listen, I'm feeling good because I got a vasectomy. So I'm dumping buckets and bitches and ain't no penalties this way. Shout out to all y'all dudes just having babies. That's cool. That's beautiful. And, and I, I, I commend you on that. But uh, right here, this shit right here, this shit is all fun here. Yes, sir, dumping. Yes, sir. You did it. Yes, sir. Hey, one more thing, man. I'm feeling good because I get your show, man. I'm over here from Puerto Rico visiting my son in college. And we Sex him and shit over there, you know. And so now I'm here on your show. I'm feeling fucking good. I'm on the New Jersey Turnpike going to see my son, hoping I'll get a fucking ticket calling you, congratulating you on the fine work you do. Man. And um, and that's it. A there bitch going to get a bucket tonight. There you go. Put a put put a bucket of nut in her. Um, and yo, just get the fucking get that get the goddamn shit the the app on your phone. You can listen wherever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know about that shit. Yeah, just I get the fuck out of here. Like yeah, yeah. So I'm on it, dog. Yeah, I mean, I know. That's the thing. Like half our listeners are not tech savvy. We are not the most tech savvy <laughs> crowd. But whatever, whatever. Shout out to John. Kicked his gambling habit. Uh, Ben's finding out the sex of his kid. Doc's in L. A. for the first time. T. Y. going to visit his fam. Sean just turned thirty. Happy birthday. And Nick's going on a road trip. All right. We're done. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Oh, you hear that that music? That means we're going to play the Bet on Judy game. It's where uh, they ask me questions and then I got to answer it. And then a caller calls in and uh, they got to bet whether I get it right or wrong. Stern did it with the hookers. I'm basically like the hooker. I'm like basically like when they ask the street prostitutes questions and bums. I'm the bum. Give me a for instance question. Sriracha is a type of hot sauce named after a city, the city located in what country? Sriracha. Chris, will I get that right or wrong? I think you're going to get that wrong. So you're going to... I'd be shocked if you got this. Shocked. I'll be shocked, too. I'm going to just say Vietnam because it's in all those fucking Vietnamese restaurants. But what the fuck do I know? It's not bad. Was it Laos or some shit? (laughs) Thailand. Huh. But yeah, you, you got closer than I thought you would. And that's not because I think you're an idiot, but I just thought that for some reason I, just, I didn't think you'd even get close to that one. Sorry. Huh? Sorry. I thought you'd say like Japan or something. The first time I saw it was at like the Vietnamese restaurants. And that was like fucking everywhere. I'm like, all right, with the fucking sriracha, dude. Okay, I get it. You don't have a bottle of that? No. Back at the place? No, I'm tight on sriracha. Like, if I don't taste sriracha for 15 years, I'll be fine. They really went crazy with that shit. It's like, calm calm the fuck down. (laughs) Act like it's Frank's Red Hot. It's not. No. (laughs) But whatever. Whatever floats your boat. It's just because it's local around here. Is that what it is? It's made locally here. Oh, no, nah, man! They got one that got sriracha flavored chips and motherfuckers. My homie did. I've had sriracha ice cream. I had a candy bar that had sriracha in that bitch. They go. They went ham with that. All right. 
If you think you have what it takes to win this game, or you're betting on fucking whether I'm dumb or not, or smart, you call up right now. 888-742-3345. Bet on Judy is coming up next. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now, it's time to bet on Judy. Hey, that's me. All right, here's the game. They gave me five questions about the world and shit, like trivia. And uh, I answered them. And I don't know if I got them right or wrong. And uh, you, the caller. We got Who's playing today? Anthony. Anthony, how you doing, Ant? I'm doing good, Mr. Judah. No, all right. Everything going with you, sir. Everything's going very well with me. All right, you're you have to bet whether or not I uh, I'm going to get these questions right or wrong. Three out of five wins you a prize. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, here was the first question they asked me: Who was the British singer who so, uh, whose song "Thank You" was sampled for Eminem's 2000 hit "Stan"? All right, so listen, you're from the D. So I'm going to assume you have to know this one. So I'm, I, I, you know, I mean, man, like, I don't even know that one. And I'm pretty good with my music. So I know you're, you like the DITC digging the crate. So let's go with, I'm going to say you know that one. You got you. All right. Let's see. Uh, Play the answer. All right. Who was the British singer? The song, Thank you for staying. I know this shit because I work for Eminem. Dildo. Just playing. It's Dido. Dido. Dido, man. Yeah. That's, one and one, Judah. Yeah. yeah. I, that song was like that song like was uh came out, went away, no one gave a fuck, M sampled it, and then it got got right back on the charts and she got a little career off of that. All right, here's the next one. When referring to a computer monitor, what does the acronym L C D stand for? I don't know what the acronym stands for, but I know what it's talking about. But I'm going to think you're a little bit better than me, Junior. You, you, you might know that one. So I'm going to go ahead and go with you again. I'm, I'm going to ride the horse. You're betting on you're betting on me to know what LCD stands for? I'm betting for. on my boy. I'm betting on my boy who knows what LCD is. All right. Let's 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 hear my answer. Oh, fuck. Oh. LCD. I know LSD. I don't, actually, I don't even know what that shit stands for. It stands for tripping balls. What the fuck it stands for? LCD. Little crinkly dicks. <laughs> if you're gonna, if you're gonna mess with this big. Yeah. Let me turn on that little crinkly dick TV. <laughs> Hey, did you hear Vimeo's got a new little crinkly dick television? Oh, man. Or the Vizio. (laughs) What does it stand for? Liquid crystal display. No shit. I I never knew that. I never asked. I never gave a fuck. Did you know that shit, Ant? You didn't either. No, no, look. I use the LCD, but I don't know what it means. Liquid crystal display. I'm not. I'm so not gonna. I know my my crystals are liquid. Yeah, I'm not gonna forget that now. Do they even have LCD anymore, or do they, have they moved down now? I think it's like four thousand K now. Ain't they it? got some shit where it was like it looked fucked up, man. Like I was, it was too realistic. Everyone looked like a fucking cancer patient on there. Like you could see their skin too good. Barkley, Charles Barkley and everybody was just like, ugh. Looks rough. <laughs> All right. Here's a third one. You got one right, you got one wrong. What is the name for the offspring of a male donkey and a female horse? I I know this one. I'm assuming you have to know this one. There was a TV show named after it. It's called a jackass. So I'm going to say you know it. All right, you think I you're you're betting on me? All right, let's. let's. I'm riding with you, Judy. You you my dude. You my dog. You haven't bet against me yet. 
You think you think I'm smarter than I am, but so thank you for that. Thank you for not thinking I'm a total fucking idiot. Let's hear this answer. It's a mule. That's why the term mulatto is frowned upon. Bam. Look at that. Look at that learning fucking shit, motherfuckers. Fuck you, fuck you, I'm fuck wrong. you, You're fuck cool you. Me, dog. You're cool. Let's go. You didn't answer the female part. What was it? The female part was a mare. You only said the male part. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Wait. No. no, wait. Let's just give it to him. What are you talking about? How? You asked the offspring. You, you didn't ask what if it was a female or male. The answer is a mule. He got it right. I'm mule, right. Which is a male donkey and a female. All donkey. right, that was my bad then. All right, this will do. Do the bell. Take. <laughs> give me my. You know, give me a ding. Give me a yeah, ding. Yeah, I earned that motherfucking ding. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote it wrong. That'll do it. Let's not argue, guys. Let's move forward. <laughs> Doesn't fucking matter. I got it right. <laughs> All right, so you got you got two right, you got one wrong. Here's the fourth question. Bet on Judy. Will I know who was the first man to land on the moon? I, I mean, we all learned that, and and like growing up in high school, I mean, first man to land on the moon or first man to put steps on the moon? Let me ask that question. Step. So I'm gonna assume. That you're a man of history, Judah, you're a knowledge individual. I'm going to say you know that one. I'm riding, ride or die. Let's go. All right. Let's, let's hear the answer. Um, I'll say Neil Armstrong because I don't know anybody else. I'm sure there was fucking, uh, there, what, there was probably some other guy that got on there first but didn't get the fucking shine. I'm saying Neil Armstrong. There was a buzz on there too, I think. But I don't know his full name. So Neil Armstrong it is. He landed on the fucking moon and it happened. Got it right. Was there a buzz? Buzz Aldridge or something? Yeah. All right. You won. You got but you, we gotta keep playing because people are at home playing along. Let's play on, dog. Let's see if I can get let's see if I can get four for one. I'm good like that. What is the stage name of the member of Public Enemy who would later have a popular VH1 reality dating show? If you don't know that, Drew. I mean, come on. There's something wrong with you, bro. I was, I was so a I'm bit, I was offended. I'm assuming you know that. I'm I was, assuming you know that one. I was I know offended. One. Everybody know that one. I was offended. That crazy crack smoking motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, play the answer. Come on, man. What is the stage name of... Flavor Flav. I work. I, look, man, if it's pre fucking, if it's pre 97 rap, I'm pretty, I'm pretty well versed in that one. Thanks for throwing me that fucking whoop. Alley oop. Thank you. Four for one, Judah. Four for one. Look at your boy. You did, you get, you, and you won yourself a hummingbird book, sir. Congratulations. Autograph. Can I get it signed? Yeah, I'll sign it. Done. All right. Do you have any advice for an aspiring author to write that writes like you? I had a crazy time in Miami. Right every. I lived down there in the nineties. Right, right, uh, right in the morning, for at least an hour every day. Sounds Monday, great, bro. Monday through Friday, and then uh, if you don't have anything to write that day, edit what you had the day before. Sounds awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, no doubt. All right, you won, Anthony. We're going to put you on hold and get your info. That was bet on Judy. I mean, come on, man. Those questions. It was almost offensive how easy some of them were. That's that's it. I, I have nothing else to say. Let's play a song. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. Yeah, bitch. Payday, bitch. You did it, bitch. Don't you shake your head. I'm pretty impressed with how much I know. I don't want to brag on my fucking brains, but... 
what was it four three out of five not bad four out of five i don't remember whatever <laughs> so so see how smart i am my mind is like a steel trap did you miss any of the show go to series.com for slash on demand listen on demand get the get the uh Get the app so you can listen on your phone. It's a nice little life hack if you work overseas. Boom. Boom. Got the news. More on Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. I like that guy. He's like a little shit-talking leprechaun just running around fucking people up. So yeah, yeah. Conor McGregor. More on him. The story unfolds. He got a bit of a scrap. And uh, one of the most expensive hotels you can go to is being built. I'll tell you all about that and more. All Out Show, don't go nowhere. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. And now... It's time for News from the Chin with John Z. Matthews. UFC President Dana White is now saying he has no interest in helping Conor McGregor with his his problem here. I guess he's really pissed off at him. Yeah. He, McGregor ruined the whole fucking card. It's it's very serious. I didn't realize just how serious until yeah, like late a, in the day. A, but yeah, yeah, we didn't... Uh, and I guess it was like off of... Some fucking confrontation at the hotel between like McGregor's boy and fucking the other dude. What's the other guy's name? The the so it it Khabib. all started yeah, yeah Khabib Nor Mega Medovov or something like Man, that. Just call him Khabib. Yeah, you Khabib, know, sorry, quit butchering that shit. <laughs> right. But uh, McGregor was apparently upset because there was a confrontation between uh, Khabib and Artem Lobov, and L- Artem yeah, is. I'm sure you're probably fucking that name up too. <laughs> it's close. It's close. But if you want to watch the fight again, we can. But he... no, he was he was behaving in a. Daniel White's mad. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I've got a quote of him on ESPN talking about he's on his own. Here we go. At some point, to try to support him and get him out of the legal trouble. No. How does this work? No, I I will not. Normally, yes. Yeah. Yes, I would dive right in and do everything in my power to help one of my guys, but not in this situation. You know, he came into the Barclays Center, attacked our fighters, and attacked my staff um, with a bunch of guys. And and no, you 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 don't get my help on this one. And I want to just make sure that we're all understanding you correctly, because, again, many people who don't know him personally, as you do, might look at this and think, this wasn't really that out of character. You're telling us this act was very out of character for the Conor McGregor you know personally. It's out of character for Conor McGregor and any of my fighters. Listen, crazy things happen in sports. You know, nobody knows better than you guys. You guys have been doing it forever. Crazy things happen. You're dealing with human beings, with, you know, personal lives and all these other things. But, yeah, in the history of the UFC, this is definitely the worst thing ever uh, that's happened. I don't know. No, uh, it's not the worst thing ever. uh, I don't know. No, no, there was that one MMA fighter that, like, beat the shit out of his girl. That was pretty fucking awful. But I don't know if he was UFC. The one was dating the porn chick. Oh, right. He was, he that was, was a mess. He was like man eater or some shit like that. Forgot his name. Yeah, it was fucking awful. I mean, it, I didn't realize this motherfucker. I didn't realize McGregor caught a plane to do all of this shit. He flew over with his crew. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? He's out of his mind. <laughs> I thought he was just there for the fights. I didn't realize that motherfucker hopped on a plane. You gotta hand it to him, Jesus. Most people, most people talk shit from a distance. He flew all the way over there. What a dick, though. Yeah, really. Like the the whole fucking it was that was gonna be a really good card, and then it just turned to fucking shit. One thing after the other, ruined the card. I was gonna watch it this weekend. I don't think I'm gonna watch it now. Yeah, it's it's gonna cost. Is that? Though that like him doing that shit, how how many fighters had to pull out? Two, 
Uh, Michael Chiesa has been pulled from this fight because of facial lacerations. Flyweight Ray Borg has been forced out uh, two. because That's... of what the UFC described as multiple corneal abrasions. That's yeah, crazy. Man. Yeah, dude. That's fucking hundreds of millions of dollars. How much do they make off of these these fucking things? They make a ton of they they cake up. Yeah, you're in the in the neighborhood there. It's a lot of money. Yeah, and now there's there's a lot of people like me. They're not gonna get the fu- fucking fights this weekend. The main guy, this, he's down to the third fucking dude now. So this is the third. The one guy, fuck, something happens. He hurts his leg. The next guy on six days, he can't make the weight because he's six days. And now, now we're under the third dude. Pettis, I think. Who was, who was like fucking real good back in the day, but like it just it looks bad. And then the other two fights are fucked. And it looks like there's another third match. Lubov had really been pulled from his fight against Alex See, man, yeah. because of his participation in the incident. And it's just it's yeah, just man. a shitstorm. You want to see him coming out of the uh, police station in handcuffs? No. It's I don't give a fuck. His perp walk. Hey, respect Brooklyn! <laughs> Hey, respect Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, is it? Oh, this the fights are in New York. Yeah, that's where it happened. I guess it's not that far of a flight. I thought he flew all the way to Vegas. I was like, God damn. By the way, that fighter you were talking about that beat his girlfriend's war machine. But he wasn't part of UFC. He wasn't part. Of, he okay. was just an MMA fighter. He was just an MMA. All right, let's clarify that. Yeah, this is pretty bad, dude. And they're talking about him being kicked out of the out of the whole UFC for this. They kind of. Are put in a when when you look at it in this perspective, like this was he had nothing to do with whatever little beef these two guys are in, and he hops on a fucking he's a grown ass man dude he hops on a fucking plane, and like brings all his boys over to fight you, like before the fucking event, like. There was there was a thousand times for him to be like hey you know what let's just chill, fuck it. Like, you, they, they're kind of in a tough position. Like, because if you let this shit slide, anarchy. He's above the. Then you're you're saying that he's above. He's above UFC. And that is a that is a tough. You know, you're almost you're almost making your brand look weaker. You'll take an initial hit, but like I think long run, if you if you kick a motherfucker out for being wild, or, it at least got to be like a what a year suspension. My man did the hit and run on the pregnant lady with the coke. Remember he had the coke and all that shit, and it was a hit and a run. Oh, okay, I think I remember that. Bones Jones, he was kicked out for like a year. Like this is kind of. But as Dana points out here, this is bigger than Connor getting fired. There's so many moving pieces to this thing. I mean, there are lawsuits coming, no doubt. Yeah, I mean, and yesterday I was like, those fighters won't sue. That's some bitch shit. Maybe they will sue. I don't know. Yeah. Especially if UFC starts suing. Who the fuck knows? That's just crazy. Uh-huh. Where does he go to next? Box again? Uh-huh. Pro wrestling. WWE. He'll have a place. It's just... I don't know, man. McGregor. Fucking up, dude. That was way different than I thought it... You know, that was way different. Like, when you read me the story yesterday, I thought it was just like... He was mad about fucking giving up the title or some shit. But, like, this was totally different. Yeah. I'm gonna say... You learn. You don't make up your judgment till you fucking hear all the facts. We still don't know all the facts. I still think could be would have got him. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. So being the youngest or oldest in class affects kids' confidence. I was before you go. I was the youngest, and it fucking sucked. Yeah, that's is that what it says? That's it. Yeah, you got the you got the fucking. 
the January born kids who are like fucking they're like a full foot bigger than you and shit like they're they're these giant kids. I was four when I started school. Hmm. Instead of five. Man, that fucking sucked. Well, when did you snap out of it? Did you just carry over through high school? Dude, it took all the way, and then I was a late bloomer. So, like, I didn't start busting nuts until I was 15, and then most 15-year-olds are, like, <laughs> freshmen, but I was a sophomore, you know what I mean? Like, it was fucking, it was a long, it was a, I had to, it was tough. Yeah. I was just, just the smallest, just a small, fat motherfucker that I had to, like, fucking be the fucking class clown to get out of you know had to come up with different coping mechanisms to not be a target and shit fucking see if that worked i'm here now made you stronger yeah that's why i'm that's why i'm so disgusted by your weakness (laughs) (laughs) yeah if you can hold your kid back a year do it like fucking do it hold your kid back a year yeah, they're saying teens who were nearly a year older than their same grade peers had a 58% likelihood of later entering university. So it may not seem like a lot. That's not just in, like, sports, everything. Yeah. I mean, you hear about it. They intentionally flunk the, like, in Texas and shit, they'll intentionally flunk their the eighth graders so that they're extra big going into, like, going into high school to go play football and shit. But doesn't that fuck you up, too? Being held back? Oh, look, there's Steve. They, they they know that it's like a fucking strategy. It's not even, like, frowned upon. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. You know, like, we're all in a room right now. Chris is fucking, like, a baby. He's in his 20s. You're old as fuck. I'm 40. And it doesn't make, it doesn't matter as much. But, like, a year or two matters a lot. Yeah, and, and then you would be, like... I remember, man, there was one kid, man. He must have flunked about 15 times. He looked like a grown-ass man yeah. in elementary school. We had a couple of those. And I, cr- I clowned on him one time because he was like <laughs> dirt white boy, and he had to shave his head because he had lice. You know what I mean? It was like, I was like, ah, lice. Man, he fucked me up, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he fucked me. The, the fucking, the, you know, what, what was it, the lunch ladies or whoever watches the, 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 the recess lady, she had to fucking come get his ass off of me because... I was getting fucked up by a grown man. I remember that shit. I was in second grade talking shit. Caught me out there. Six years old. Getting whooped by an old man. <laughs> Lice. You learn. There's a new luxury hotel that could be 200 miles in the sky. And can you guess as to what this will cost? It's it's a space station. I already saw the price. It was uh, like yeah, it's crazy. It was like eight hundred grand a night. Seven hundred ninety-two thousand a night. So so eight hundred grand. Yes, yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> this is fucking crazy. Well, it's part of this twelve-day adventure in the space station they're planning, and it'll run you total about like nine point five million dollars per person. And they're hoping to have this up and running in about four years, but that seems just. Ridiculous. We got to get, there's some like, some, I, I was on someone's Instagram page and there's some fucking Amazon documentary about like extra rich people. Bre- let's get that motherfucker on. I, don't, I forgot the name. I, wait, because, the, the, yeah, it's new. But there's just this level of rich that we can't even comprehend, you know? Like to them, nine million ain't shit. They're like, yeah, fuck it. Like dudes in finance and fucking hedge fund motherfuckers and shit like that or uh, oh yeah I've got relatives weird pretty inventors. well off and I, I really can't relate to them anymore they don't really understand the struggle <laughs> I don't understand your struggle <laughs> half your struggle is your own fucking struggle dude I think that's their position on it yeah it's like yeah the, <laughs> bo- the fuck's John doing yeah boss up struggle man go ahead <laughs> the struggle you got a lot of nerve got a fucking lot of nerve yeah man they, when you got that much money when you got when when you're just fucking dripping with money, like their their idea, like they got motherfuckers that my homeboy used to work for. I used to play back my homeboy. I played back backgammon with. Like these motherfuckers are from like Saudi Arabia. They had uh, they had that oil money. She never even saw money. Like they they're so rich they don't even touch money. Like they have no idea what 
like they have no idea what a bottle of water costs. Like, what was it? Ten dollars? Fifteen? Twenty? What do you want? What do you, how much is a banana? Twelve? Twelve dollars? <laughs> I think that was from fucking Arrested Development. They got. They just have no idea. That's how rich these motherfuckers are. Would you want to be that though? Would I want to be ri- that rich? Like that crazy sort of insane wealth where nothing yeah. makes sense anymore. Yeah. Because okay. I'm pretty well off and I can't even get to a fucking stomach doctor. You know what I mean? Like I'm ha- I'm I'm struggling to see what's r- like. I've been having stomach problems and I can't even get to a fucking. I can't get to like a stomach doctor. And then I got homies, whose whose folks are v- like super like extra caked up they don't even go to doctors that take insurance and they'll just it'll be five grand and they'll just give them five for a fucking visit Man. like whatever you need you just go to that fucking dude you're taken care of it's five like yeah I would, yeah i would love to be that rich what does jeff bezos have he's got like 115 billion dollars Hey, man, I don't even begrudge Jeff Bezos. He operated on a loss for years. It was a really good idea. He's actually adding fucking people. People are using Amazon. Like, I use Amazon all the fucking time. Even if you don't, Netflix, their servers are on Amazon things. Or their thing is run, ran off of Amazon servers. Like... Even if you don't think you're using Amazon, you're using it. You're using fucking Amazon. So, like, I clap it up, motherfuckers, make that money and shit. On my on my Instagram, I got a, uh, I got the Microsoft team dancing from nine, 1995. When yeah, go on my shit. It's just them like dancing all extra hype. Just some nerdy white dudes cake the fuck up. Like, yo, I'm not even mad, bro. And yeah, and and I still use Windows. We're using it right now. So like, what? I mean, it, I guess it'd be fun. Would to go, you want to be that rich? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, John. Yeah, yes, I would. I, so so would I. So would I. Come to think of it, yeah. Yeah, I'd vote you wouldn't for have that. to sell your soul for a hundred dollars. <laughs> I don't think Jeff would understand that move. No, nah, Jeff Bezos would not sell his soul for a hundred dollars. He would not. He's gonna be up in a fucking space station. Chilling with his girl, fucking, getting pussy, like that's beyond the mile high club. You're in, the, you're in a fucking, you're orbiting the Earth. But if you're that rich, aren't you suddenly worried about dying, and you're trusting this Aurora station to protect you out there in space? Yeah, you go, you wait for the third batch of people to go. <laughs> you let them iron it out. That's what you do when you start having that kind of money. You're like, what the fuck can I do? Buy a newspaper. No, you, you would buy a new, oh, like, like buy a whole like a who who did the he, he, Bezos he, yeah, bought he, the he, newspapers and shit. He bought the Washington Post. He did he? Said. Yeah. Oh, there you go. See. I don't trust none of them newspapers, bro. I don't trust none of that shit. That's why. That's why y'all never hear no heavy news from here because I don't trust any of it. I, I don't understand that. Man, I just listened to this book called The Smear or some shit, and it just further, it further made me distrust it. You gotta trust something. There are facts out in the world. It's like half the people like was doing all this writing were actually working for the fucking political people. <laughs> they were on their payroll. Like they were literally being paid. And that's who I'm going to get my news from? Them? Well, how do you understand the world then? Who do you, I mean, how do you... And I'll go to my mechanic and ask him <laughs> if I need any work done. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure I'll be fine. You must trust somebody. Trust your eyes. <laughs> Trust your eyes. The lady was like, don't ask if it's true. Ask who wants you to know. It's mm. ominous. Fucking gangster. I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that's why we that's why, we, why that's why the next story is this. What is it? What's the next story? I wasn't ready. I was still staring at the space station. That's very exciting. Hand gestures and nonverbal communication bring clarity to a conversation. So if people criticize you for talking with your hands, you can communicate more effectively. That's why Italians are such good communicators. Yeah. 
You must have heard people criticize you though for using your hands once in a while. Or, or no. me? I don't know. Yeah, they're I like have. they're like, uh, and it's usually like bullshit. Fucking. Uh, there's been times where like third wave feminists try to police the way you speak. So that's an aggressive hand gesture. I'm like, oh well, it's gonna keep happening. So you can run away. Fucking, or we can not have this conversation. Like, I talk with my hands. I, I, there's been so many times where I end up with like fucking bowls of soup on my lap and shit like that. That's aggressive. Well, because I'm like da da da, yeah, da, 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 you know, fucking halfway faded off some GHB out to dinner, talking shit, hands extra going, <laughs> fucking wop. I'm wearing it. Fucking wearing it. But it works. Questions accompanied by these uh, gestures led to a shorter turn. Uh, well, it, people understood what you were saying faster than they would if you were just staring at them talking. Yeah, you know. it's, that's why I, like, I don't like doing phoners. I like, I like having people right here in studio because so much communication is done. Uh, you know, just what my face is doing, hand gestures. So much communication is your body and not your not your words, even your tone. Like, hey, great job, John. Thanks. Great job, John. <laughs> Same words, different tone. I'm rolling my eyes on one, on the other one, I'm, I'm sincerely saying, hey, you did a great job. Realistically, it was average. <laughs> <laughs> so what did the, what else did the experts say about the hand shit? They're just saying again, it, it, it's effective. So keep it up. I mean, I guess you could look a little crazy once in a while, but otherwise, it's something that uh, they've studied and decided that uh, increases clarity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I wonder what cultures do it the most. Like us, why us Italians do it like a motherfucker, dude? We're we're a we're a hand talking bunch, loud and fucking hand talking. <laughs> for for some reason, I I do I do the little pinch the. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Even sincerely, not joking around. I wish that was a fucking. I wish that was an emoji. Like they got all those other fucking cultural emojis. I can't have the. the that's Italian. A spicy meat the bar. Would love for that to be emoji. Use the fuck out of that shit, son. Talk with their hands. That's in, in like Obama and all them cats. They, the way they do it, their gestures. He did the closed fist with the thumb, like it's not aggressive, but it's uh, it's like fucking you're you're like you're still dominant, but you're not being aggressive. That's what that means. I don't know. It's like hey, let me tell you, because you're, you're not you're pointing your finger, wagging your finger. That's taking as that's an right. aggressive. So like you bring that shit in, but you can still be assertive. You're being assertive. Make it a point. Oh, but yeah, you know, all that shit. They got like fucking classes for that. And hey, we should book one of them motherfuckers well, with the little hand gestures and all that shit means. How to read body language. Body language expert. <laughs> Boom. I'm going to learn. Yeah, watch, watch politicians when they talk, man. That shit is studied. What else? That's it. That's it. That is the news. I want all y'all to have a really good weekend. Every one of you. Even you, John. Thanks. You're welcome. You are checking out the All Out Show with Rude Jude on demand. That was the show. That was the show. Danica's on the phones. John is the producer today. Yay. You produced it today. Shout out to Keenan. He came up with the Bet on Judy game. And he's the associate producer. And Chris. It's on the boards. That's the one that's laughing. People are like, who's that dude laughing? That's Chris laughing. All right, don't go. Well, right, you, I guess you can, you can go, but you should still stay tuned to Shade 45 because awesomeness is coming up after this. I think there, yeah, there's, I think there's a special. Affiliates. I thought there was a special. 
I think there's a special, isn't there? I'm going to trust this. All right. I don't know. Stay tuned for a special. Fine. <laughs> I'm betting on special. If nothing, if nothing special happens, then fuck it. <laughs> They'll just be a little disappointed. I'm not going to not plug the special and then have them say, you forgot about the special. Hey, there's a special coming on after this. Something's happening. Don't you you fucking stay tuned as Shade 45. All right, let's